Hey guys, it's Rhyme Hero. Welcome back to Chapter 3. This is Chapter 3, Part B. Um, we're going to continue making a lot of essence, because when we get to the Muramasa shop right next to the Tessa Valor, we're going to be sweating quite a lot of it. So it's first fight, really simple, dash jump twice, online in charge, do the ET, dash jump twice, do another ET quick, and now I've got the essence staggered. Easy as that. Just keep on repeating doing ETs over and over again until you get them down to the end, and then try to finish the last one off with a UT to get extra essence. Now sometimes what happens is one of these Van Gels gets caught up on, uh, on top there and can't figure out how to get down, and you can hear him running. Even though the save statue is lit, you can hear him running up there. So now since they are separated and they're all running towards me, I decided to try to do a UT and try to kill them both. And I almost succeeded. That last hit would have hit that other Van Gelf. I would have succeeded. Okay. Now you see the statue is lit and it goes right back down. There's that Van Gelf. And he finally figured out how to get down. Sometimes does it sit up there and run. And not go anywhere. That's why I equipped the arrows because I was expecting to snipe him from top. Okay, still finished him off the UT, so that's all good. Let's go and save. Okay, this chapter is going to make you, or force you to make a few hard decisions. First one that I always hear asked is, which Nimpo do I upgrade and, and when? So you get your first Jewel of the Demon Seal, and you're going to be able to upgrade one Nimpo. And I'll go more over which Nimpos I recommend upgrading a little bit later. This chest I always had was Red Essence. Now if you use Nimpo for that nasty IS Ninja fight earlier, go ahead and refill. The reason I'm refilling even though I didn't need to is because I recommended using the Nimpo. So since I didn't use it, I'm just going to refill so we're all on the same playing ground right now. But if you don't need it, don't open the chest and come back when you do need it. Okay, this fight coming up is pretty easy. I'll show you a quick and easy trick for it. This chest is a dynamic chest. That is 5,000 essence, but it could also be an herb or blue essence. Now, as soon as you get on that ladder, the fight spawns. So, quick run up, run up on top of this ladder, and get the arrows out, and just start sniping them. They can't hit you from here, and each one you kill with a UT, again, is worth 700 essence. So, this is going to get me another 2,100 in essence. Um, so, if you don't have a full health bar, don't open that chest up. Go to the next save, get your health bar maxed out, and go ahead and open up the, the chest. So there's three, there's sometimes I've had four Van Gelfs in this fight, but this one only has three. We're going to snipe them all. Now I get rid of the first person, because oftentimes the Essent doesn't come up to me until I get rid of the first person. So last one here. If you hit him in the head, you'll actually kill him in one shot. But most often, more often than not, you just take an arm off, and they always have the exact same jump pattern, so you remember the word last time? Kill him. Now let's go back and save. Now, I save quite a lot in this chapter, not because I really need to, but because I firmly believe that if you have save statues, use them to the best of your ability. If the fight went really well, go ahead and save. Now, most of these fights, um, for about three-fourths of the fights in this video, I did them in about 30 minutes. So, jump, do an online 360 charge. Now, this gold Van Gelf is worth 1,400 essence if you kill him with a UT. So make sure you kill these guys with UTs whenever possible. Okay, so we're going to go jump. We're going to spawn the next set of Golden Van Gelf fights. As soon as you see them, jump on back. You want to run back here, and you're going to put them into a flying pattern. Only very rarely will they ever shoot you with the fireballs. You can see they're flying around in circles. Can't really see you. Two arrow UTs will kill them. Make sure you absorb the essence. Now, it's usually four in this fight, but for some reason I'm only getting three again. So I'm not getting my max kills. And that's another 1400 in essence I could be getting. Now that one actually died with one UT. Okay, now there's almost always going to be one, U sometimes two that are caught down here. So I do is I dash, get to the end as far as I can, take this guy out. Now there's almost always one caught in that little space right down there that you win, or your bird jump to get back up. So I'm just going to check for him real quick. And I don't hear him running, he's not there. Jump down and call block right away, he's not there. I was expecting him to be there, so I just got cheated out of 1400 essence. Since I got a UT and absorbed the essence on each one, I'm going to run back and save. Now, this next fight coming up is.
technically a real fight, but most people just skip it because they're the large bats. Personally, I hate the bats. What I do is I get right up here, inch a little bit forward. I went too far forward there, but oftentimes you can charge a 360 UT with up before they spawn. So I should have actually done a regular UT here. You know, probably take out more bats at that last uh, flame that happens with a regular UT. So now I'm stuck up here on the chair or the stairs. So a couple wall attacks should take care of them. Okay, now I can hear another one flying in back, so I know it's stuck, not quite ready. There it is. Let's take care of him. Let's grab the book from this dead ninja and grab the chest. Now the chest can... I've had it have blue essence and bats, but it's not a dynamic chest. You don't have to worry about getting yellow essence from it. And unfortunately, in this case, it has bats, so I'm just going to take care of them as quick as possible. I just do Y, 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 Y with a lunar, and it, I love this flying bat can't figure out how to fly two inches over the chest for me to get him. Larry finally figures it out. Okay, let's prepare for the next fight. This fight is a little bit more difficult only because there's a lot more Van Gelfs and you're in a smaller area so you can't run around them nearly as much. Uh, so a lot of this is backtracking. When you backtrack as much as I've done you get to know this level pretty good. Now I saw arrows so I figured might as well refill. Jump! charge and I get pretty lucky here he hits me but I was still able to pull off the UT okay dash jump and I of course missed the on landing missed the on landing